Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Today we're going to look at fractions, the basics, the types that we have and how to convert from one type to another. So from the beginning, fractions just represent an amount out of a total amount. So for instance, if you love to eat pizza and you order it from the shop and it comes cut up into 12 slices, so there are 12 slices available. If you eat three of those slices, this means that you have eaten three out of the 12 slices that were available. This can be represented as three out of 12 or three over 12. That line means out of, or you can also say over or divided by, and we'll come back to this shortly. But let's take a closer look at this representation. Now as we can see, this is now a fraction, and there are two parts to it. There is a top part, or the top number, which is called the numerator, and a bottom number, which is called the denominator. Now going back to the pizza example, if we ate 3 out of the 12 slices, so 3 have been eaten, since there were 12 slices in total, this means that there are 9 slices of the pizza left that haven't been eaten, and to represent this as a fraction, we write 9 over 12, or 9 out of 12, or 9 twelfths of the pizza is left. So we can see that 3 over 12 and 9 over 12 are complements of each other since 3 and 9 add up together to make 12. So they kind of complete each other. Every fraction has a complement or partner that completes it. For example, 2 thirds or 2 out of 3 or even 2 over 3, its complement or its partner is 1 over 3 or 1 third since 2 plus 1 equals 3. So as long as the numerators or the top numbers total up or add up to make the denominator, they are complements or complement partners of each other. Let's take a look at another example. So for instance 4 over 7, its complement partner would be 3 over 7 since 4 plus 3 equals 7. Similarly 13 over 21, its complement partner would be 8 over 21 since 13 plus 8 equals 21. Okay so let's take a look at the different types of fractions that there are. So there are three types. Type 1 is called the proper fraction. This is when the top number or numerator is less than or smaller than the bottom number or denominator. For example, we can have 2 over 3 or 2 thirds, we can have 4 over 5 or 4 fifths, or we can have 7 over 12 or 7 twelfths, and so on. Type number 2, these are called improper fractions. Now this is when the top number or the numerator is greater than or bigger than the bottom number or denominator. For instance, 3 over 2 or 5 over 4 or even 12 over 7. The third type of fraction is known as a mixed number fraction. This is when we have a whole number and a proper fraction added to it. So for instance, 1 and 2 thirds, or 2 and 3 quarters, or 4 and 5 sixths. In future videos we will also be looking at how to do arithmetic with fractions, like multiplying fractions, dividing, adding and subtracting fractions, and we'll work with all these different types. But a lot of the time it's easier to just work with types 1 and 2 instead of working with type 3. So how do we convert mixed number fractions into improper fractions? The way we do that is we multiply the whole number by the denominator and we add that result to the numerator. So for example, if we take the fraction 1 and 2 thirds, we multiply the 1 by the 3, that gives us 3, then we add that 3 to the 2, so we have 5. The denominator remains the same, so the improper fraction then becomes 5 over 3, or 5 thirds. Similarly, if we have a look at 2 and 3 quarters, if we take the 2, multiply by the 4, so 2 times 4 is 8, we add the 3 to it, so 8 at 3 is 11, so the improper fraction becomes 11 over 4. Now there may be times when you're given an improper fraction but you need to change back into a mixed number fraction. So how would we do that? So let's take our improper fraction of 5 thirds again, 5 over 3. Another way of reading this is 5 divided by 3. We ask ourselves how many 3's go into 5 and we can interpret this as saying how many sets of 3 go into 5. So we can see that there is only one set of 3 which can fit into 5. So for instance if we have 5 boxes we can only have one set of three boxes which appear in the total of five with two left over. Those are two remaining boxes left over. So we represent this as one complete set of three which fits into five and now in order to get to five we 
have four and five or two more digits left over so we have one with the remainder of two and that two is still being divided by three because that hasn't been divided by three exactly so one and two thirds let's take a look at another example if we have 11 over 4 we ask ourselves how many fours or sets of four can appear or fit into 11 items now we can see that two sets of four appear in 11 items we say two sets because two sets of four is eight so two sets of four appear in 11 items and since two sets of four is eight that means to get to 11 we have a remainder of three left over and that three is still being divided by four because that's incomplete so we have two and three quarters and we have successfully converted from an improper to a mixed number fraction okay so try and have a go at converting some mixed numbers into improper fractions and back again so that you can get the hang of it and let me know how you got on in the comments below okay so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful the more people engage the more people like the more they comment the more they share the more we can help each other and the more we can collectively become intuitive minds if you enjoyed the contents of this video then smash that like button do leave a comment on how you got on and if it helped you at all share with anyone who you think this may benefit as we want to create awareness and help raise awareness by helping others reach a better understanding of how to do this work and it would also help with the youtube algorithm and do subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and other motivational videos so together we can educate innovate and actuate and if you want to become a part of the intuitive minds collective you can check out the brand new intuitive mind store which is full of the latest limited edition designs for t-shirts and hoodies Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.